Hello everybody, um, I'm Carol Prendergast and this is Noel Jordan. Noel's the coordinator of the Australian Bowser Society and we're here to tell you about Saturday the 5th of May which is the International Dowsers Day, the first one in Sydney. And it's going to be at the Botanical Gardens in Sydney. We're all meeting down there on the, at 1 o'clock down at the cafe. So, Noel, tell us about International Dowsers Day. Well, thank you, Carol. This is an initiative by the British Society of Dowsers, whereby um, uh, all the dowsing societies in the world will be getting together on Saturday the 5th of May and showing the members of the public how practical dowsing is and what a joy it brings to the people who do it. So we are joining with dowsers all over the world and it's quite an exciting uh, initiative and it's the first of its kind and we hope will become a regular annual event. Sounds great. So if you, do you want to, like with dowsing you use um, the certain tools that you use. So you've got a brought a pendulum along. Um, how do you use pendulums and what sort of things do you can you use it for? Well, you use various tools in dowsing. A uh, pendulum is one that uh, most people use. Um, this is mine. I carry it around in my pocket. Most people have it in their purse or their pocket. And um, you train yourself to give you a yes and a no and then you can ask your questions and get your answers. Dowsing, of course, is all about um, accessing your inner wisdom or um, uh, using your intuition to find out those things which are hidden. So you can use it for um, finding water or earth energies or deciding whether you're living in a house that's good for you or finding uh, lost objects or pets or uh, all sorts of different things. In fact, Dowsing is only limited by the power of your imagination. Okay, well that sounds pretty good. I think I'll have to start using mine a little bit more to find the asking questions. I've, I found it useful in the garden actually to ask the plants as to do they want to be here or do they want to be there. It so is, yes Carol, you're quite right. It's, uh, it's very useful in gardening. You can use it for uh, checking the pH of the soil, whether the plant's in the right place, whether it needs to be reorientated whether it should be in the shade or the sun, etc, etc. Uh, so many gardeners use it for, 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 for reached out in, uh, in their gardens. Right. Well, I hope you can all come down on the 5th of May to the gardens because, uh, as Noel says, we're going to be talk checking out plants and stress and flora and fauna and all that sort of thing. Um, we'll have some tools there. So we have extra pendulums and rods and different things. So come down and have a play and find out for yourself how you can be a dowser and join us on the first International Dowsers Day on the 5th of May at the Botanical Gardens at 1 o'clock. Thank you, Carol. It should be great fun um, for everybody. It's going to be good. So see you all there. Thank Thanks. you.